Testing, testing. Okay. Let's get it on. Um, so one thing I want to mention here is uh, we have a, um, a meeting for our program here. It's the uh, IGDA, International Game Developers Association, has a meeting here February, February 20th on Richland College campus, Wichita Hall, uh, one o room 103 at 7 p.m. Going to meet local game developers, discuss their plans for 2020. Uh, there's a Facebook event. You can go check it out. Let's see. Facebook.com slash slash events slash ad slash 2020 slash oops. Is four eight eight three nine five two three eight four nine two zero eight eight. I know that's bananas, but I can't even. Let's see if I can get it all on one screen. There we go. There's a Facebook event. IGDA. It is here at Richland College, February 20th. If you're interested, rock and roll. Um, I'm recording this video. I'm going to put it up on on um, YouTube, so get that there. Okay. Um, I was thinking about it, and what I want to do is... Um, I've installed the project on the server, and I'm going to go over the server and how to use all that. But um, I, I want to go over what you guys have talked about. But um, let's go ahead and pull the files from the server real quick. Everyone open a browser. Go to github.com. We're going to do this step here. Set up an account on github.com. So jump on GitHub, set up an account. So who in here knows what GitHub is? All right, explain to everybody what GitHub is. It's a source control software, and GitHub is like a hub to control all of it. Okay, what does that mean? Can you describe that in the way that you would speak to a Labrador retriever? Um, <coughs> so it's like you, everybody can, con you have like the source code on there, and you can pull from it and then make changes to it. And instead of like, uploading the entire source code back, you can just upload like the changes you made. And then it stays consistent. And then you can moderate it and like approve changes so that you don't accidentally delete your entire game. All right, in a more simpler form, GitHub is the place where we're gonna store our game files. I bet that works. Yep. I said Labrador Retriever. They're, they're smart. Not 18 year old. Not high school student. What's wrong with you, sir? No, I'm just kidding, shame on you. I'm just kidding. All right, let's get these accounts set up, y'all. <coughs> GitHub.com. Try and move ahead without doing much of anything. You just need the account. If you need help, ask the person sitting next to you.
Um, <laughs> what? You just need a GitHub account. Free, free GitHub account exists. Somehow you got to uh, replace. You're not crazy. You're not creating a GitHub repository or anything like that. You're just creating a, an account on GitHub, so you have a username and a password. Yeah, if you have an account, it's asking you to like do a bunch of other stuff. Just click on the little GitHub logo in the upper left version of the. All you need to do is just log in. That's it. Just log in. Don't create anything or do anything. Just log in. <coughs> yes. Um, how many of you guys are going to be working at home on your home computers? Maybe kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. Sort of. All right. So if you are going to be working on a home computer, um, go ahead and open another tab in your browser, and t and do a Google search for Tortoise Git. Tortoise Git here is free. This is what we're going to use here on site at Richland. It's a way. It's basically software that we use to connect to GitHub, that helps us move files back and forth from our computer to GitHub. Okay, so if you um, are working at home, put this on your list to download and install at home. Yes? Is this for just the programmers or is this for... No, this is for everybody. Right. Okay. Um, all right, so we did that. GitHub accounts, Tortoise Git. All right, so now let's go ahead and clone and pull files. Uh, everybody open up uh, my computer or computer on your desktop and you're gonna go to the D Drive make a new folder called cool patrol capital C capital P all one word no spaces yes on the D Drive make sure you're doing this on the D Drive cool patrol Where's mine at? I already made one. It's highlighted right here. Cool Patrol. All one word, no spaces, capital C, capital P. Cool Patrol. Who came up with that name? Good. No, this guy. It's good. It's, it's simple, easy. Makes us sound cool, you know. Yeah, I, I gave you a role on the uh, Discord as the cool guy. Nice. Cool guy. I am cool. Sometimes. Make a folder on the D drive. Call it Cool Patrol. Capital C, capital P, no spaces. We can do this. Success. All right, then what you're going to do is uh, open up Trello. And on Trello, I have added a new um, card called GitHub. Copy that link. Right click copy. Right click. Uh, I know, I didn't say go to the link, I said copy the link. Right click and copy that link. She had, it said say github.com slash seekeracoolpatrol.git. Then what you're going to do is right click on your Cool Patrol folder and do a git clone. You're going to do a git clone. And when you do that, there's a checkbox that says LFS. Make sure that's checked. LFS, uh, it's going to automatically paste in the HTTPS GitHub CSERG, secure, uh, uh, cool patrol .git. Make sure you check LFS, which stands for Large File System. Then go ahead and click OK. All right, what's the update for this Git? Um, just disregard the update. Disregard the Tortoise Git update. So again, you're going to go to Trello. You're going to click on the card that says GitHub. Right click, copy link address. Then you're going to right click on your Cool Patrol folder. And you're going to go to Git Clone. Then this screen's going to pop up. Make sure you check LFS and then click OK.
Uh, it's going to ask you for your GitHub username and password. Put that in, and then you will be pulling the project files. So it looks like the clipboard is coming from Reverse into a file. That's correct. You, sir, are the GitHub master. Yeah, um, so anybody that has problems, go ahead and stand up. Stand up so everybody can see you. What was your name? Uh, Colin. I'm not a master, but I do sit before. Right. This guy is going to be our tech guy for the interim yeah, until you either so die or we find someone better. Oh, I'm going to go die real quick. No, don't die. <laughs> okay, this guy, when you guys have GitHub problems, you're going to ask him for help. Listen, I know... There, there are issues with, 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 with this, just who's pulling the files, and the files are pulling successfully. Anybody? Uh, There's a little tortoise that's running and files are moving. Did anybody not have an abort? No? All right. Everybody failed. Everybody failed? Yeah. How is that yeah. possible? Because the repository is knocked down. So we lose the correct key. Maybe it's just the right one. I have basically not done this for weeks. And yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. So it, it, it didn't exit cleanly because it didn't find the repository. Yep. Mm. Figured. I mean, do we have to be added to repository first? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that would, that would do it. Okay, oh, I'm done. All right, we need to add you guys to the repo. They're of course. Okay. Um, let's do that. Yes, you cannot. No. <laughs> no. All right, so um, I'm a real person. I'm just a user. I'm gonna have to add you as like a collaborator on here, so you have access, so you can add users. Okay. Cause you're gonna have to add users in the. All right, guys. Um, this is what I need you to do. Everybody, come to my computer, and you are going to type in your GitHub username on my computer and add yourself uh, as a collaborator. To Cool Patrol. I am moderator of the board. There I am. Oh, there was him. There can only be three collaborators. What? There can only be three collaborators. Why? Well, I guess Luigi is one of them. I guess so. Luigi is one of them. Luigi is one of them. There's, that's, that's not possible. Where do you see that? Uh, right there. Change that. Uh, okay. Um, I've only contributed. I've never managed a project, but I'm sure I can figure it out. No, no, no. Let's go sit back down because I'm pretty sure they're not going to be able to. Alright, never mind. Sit down for a second. This is new. They've changed that. Um, All right, go Google why we can only have three collaborators. Ay, ay, ay. We'll get around it. I think we might need to create a team. And then we put the project under the team. You know what I'm saying? Wow. All right, don't sweat it for now. Um, okay, hey, uh, so... The problem is is that unless you're using the paid GitHub stuff, you can only have three collaborators on a private repository. However, if you made a public Figures out many cases. Oh, it looks like we're making it public. Yeah. Where do I where do I go to switch it to public? Settings probably. Anybody somebody from the IS has access to it. They're just giving us ideas from space stations. <laughs> 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 
the picture of the guy. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, they basically want us to put the highest best in the game. Yeah. By the way, integrate us. Just to use self. All right. <laughs> All right. Just kidding. Come back. Oh. Just kidding. Ha ha. Come back. Ha ha. Funny joke. This one's so good. There, we are going to run into more technical <laughs> problems you shocked me. than you guys could ever possibly imagine, which would be a thing. And How is this going to work you out? You just got to, whenever there's a problem, you just Google it, and you fix it, and you keep moving forward. Isn't that right, Eric? Yep. How many technical problems have you run into on projects? 100 million? Every project. Every project, there's 100 million problems. Um, I'm like, as you come down to the problem, and there's a problem, it's like, okay, what do we do? Also, if you make it public, I don't think you need to add a collaborator anymore to your team. They're on the same shift as the stop for some reason, and they have to um, go find parts. Because it's broken, it's all gone to shit. We have, we just so happen to have backup parts all over, scattered all over the city. Yeah, it's not all going to be parts. Some of it's going to be power that you have to bring back online, stuff like that. I think it would make more sense if. Well, yeah, I do. I made one. The spaceship had parts that went bad, and we crashed. We had to go to like a planet or something and go find the parts on the planet. Oh, I don't get it. I just sent them off for an hour to figure out some stuff out. Guys, after you add yourself as a collaborator, you'll need to go to your email and confirm. And once you confirm, then you can do the process that I told you about before and pull the file. Oh, so we have to do that all over again. Cool. Yeah, you have to do it all over again. Okay, we'll do it. What's your uh, what's your username? Lunatic GM GMB. Okay, go back to uh, your folder. Sorry, you see that red? You have to close that. Uh, okay, uh, hit F5. Okay, go into Tool Patrol. No, go into Tool Patrol. Okay, right click on that. You've already done it. Okay. Uh, I want you to go around and help everybody figure All that right. out. Alright. Alright, this guy right here is going to help you Oops. guys if you already confirmed your email. Who's confirmed their email? Raise your hand. Confirmed emails? Okay. First All those people, help them. Four. Help him first so he can yeah. help others. Um, Are you already pulling? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, confirm the email. Oh, okay. Sorry, the collaboration thing. Artists, yeah, effects, sound, characters. Yeah, do effects. You once their email is confirmed and they're a part of the project, then they are. Um, no, I wasn't. Wow. Yeah. The guy next to him. Oh, the guy next to him with the effects. Okay. Yeah, we have one guy assigned to the effects. Okay, cool. The guy on the end over there. Um. Yeah. Once. Once you. Except the email, it works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. His was a little funny. His was a little funny. We had to, uh, he had already been somewhat successful for some weird reason. He already had his folder in there, so. Yeah, they're already pulling your stuff. Okay. Well, it, it creates the folder, but it doesn't put any files in it. Right. You have to pull it out. So I just deleted that file, and then we did this one. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that, that works too. <coughs> Yeah. 
Who's having technical issues? Anyone having technical issues, please raise your hand. You should be you should be confirming emails and pulling files. Cloning and pulling files. If you need help, please raise your hand. You should see a little turtle running away from a planet. <laughs> if you don't see a little turtle running from the planet, you need help. Okay, we got it. Mr. Nom. Scroll down. All those. No, all, scroll down. Yeah. Just, oh, just read okay. the people who haven't confirmed. Uh, Funky Monkey. You guys, you guys, you guys. Here's Fun the people who haven't <coughs> confirmed. Please read loud. Funky Monkey. X X D W G X X G Man Two Thousands. Rowan McPhase. Kalit what? Calf Wade Sparrow. Cal 0421, Gary Laser Eyes, Understuck Me 97, Like IR Swag. You guys have not confirmed. Hit F5 again. One of you guys confirmed. <laughs> Keep doing that until everyone confirms and everyone's calling the little tortoise is running away from the earth. What's the tortoise like? You are ahead of the curve, sir. You are winning, sir. Oh, did you not write your username yet? All right, go ahead. Oh, you're Pizza Man? Are you on the Discord server? Nope. You need to get on that. We are yeah, there's a link on the Trello. Are you on the Trello? Uh, yeah. uh, then there's a link on the Trello to get into the... We're down to six? Well, yeah, but someone forgot to add their username, so... Oh, now we're back up to seven? Yeah, we're back up to seven. DWG, G-Man, Rowan, Wade Sparrow, Cal, Pizza Man, and Swag. Pizza Man? Pizza Man. All right, who's Pizza Man? Uh, he's the guy who just came up and entered it. And he's also not on the Discord. First of all, Remember, awesome Pizza Man, remember to get on the Discord. It's on the Trello if you're on that. First of all, I love pizza. All right, we need five more. DWG, G-Man, Sparrow, Cal, Pizza Man. Pizza Man. Does that happen every time? Yeah. Because okay. pizza's awesome. Who doesn't like pizza? Still those same five. DWG, G-Man, Wade Sparrow, Cal, and Pizza Man. If you he are hearing your GitHub username, please confirm your email. That's all you gotta do. Go to your email address. Confirm. Who's this? Who is Wade Sparrow? Confirm your email. How are you, how are you polling and you haven't confirmed your email? That blows my mind. Oh, because it's public, so they don't need to be collaborating. Yeah, I got some ethics. I think you should read this. On, mine's, on my screen, it says mine is Put your F5, name in there. but up there, it's not. Hold on, hit F5 again. I think it allows us to pull the files. Now find the email for it. Confirmed on here. Refresh it if you need to. When you want to go add stuff to it, you'll need to be confirmed. We're making progress here. We're down from like 10 to like. Four. Did you do a large file system when you did it? You took the LWS? Yeah. Right well, uh, right what's here I was pulling it. What's the yeah. error? Uh, error code zero, 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 zero. He's probably okay. Just click okay. Just disregard. It, it said blue success, right? 
Well, not anymore. We'll close that out. Yeah, yeah I should have closed it. Don't flood it. Now it's the file. That's just how it be sometimes. Yeah. That is exactly how it be. Wait, what? Show me that again. G Man, Sparrow Pizza, Pizza Man. G Man, Pizza Man. Go back down. Right click on that. Yeah, close that again. All right, who's G Man? Go to your email. Yeah, that's your normal GitHub verification. It's a different email. We down to two people? Who are we down to? Hang on, we're getting G Man in, alright? G Man? He's trying, he's clicking the wrong link. It's like Google Man. All right, we're just waiting for pizza. Pizza time. Pizza time. That means you were successful. We need we need a Discord link. Let's. I'll solve that later. Yeah, yeah, don't sweat that right now. Uh, who, who's Pizza Man? Who is Pizza Man, sir? Raise your hand. What do we do now? All right. right now. Pizza is awesome. I don't, I don't think so. Pizza is awesome. Food, 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 for the price you get, for the, for the price you get a pizza in the food court here, it's actually not that bad. It really isn't. Like, uh, yeah, for like a dollar a slice, dude, it's awesome. We are all get a food court. What about pizza? Yeah, for the price just like it's not bad at all. I should be able to go like. All right, at some point we need we're gonna yeah. have to add you as a admin on here so you can add some can I, on people. I probably can do that real quick. Go for it. Actually, don't sweat that right now. Okay. Let's see Where is this folder on the cloud? We need we, we do need the Discord though. <laughs> okay, can you get it to him, her, her or him, while I do something else? All right, real quick. All right, you guys. Uh, who's still pulling files? Can I see hands of files still pulling? Okay. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so if you're done pulling files, great. If not, just keep waiting and just watch up here. Um, so, all right, so we have a folder on our D drive called Cool Patrol. Jump into Cool Patrol. You should have only one other folder. Okay, I have two for some reason. Ay, ay, ay. So, so Cool Patrol, Cool Patrol, Cool Patrol? Or is it Cool Patrol, Cool Patrol? So I have one extra folder. Wow, three for gold patrols. Okay. It's triple. Good lord. All right, there is a uh, icon in here that says "Cool Patrol." Double click that. Oh man, I hope I did first person shooter. Okay, okay cool. <coughs> All right, so when you launch the game, this is our project, okay? It's done. We already were. Yeah, good job, everybody. Game's done. All right, so I will tell you one of the first tasks for programmers is going to be to remove that gun. 
Remove the gun functionality. Alright, we are gonna need to put um, props props in there so you could stick some sample prop in there. Or let's just not do that. Just we're gonna need prompts, but props, but for programmers we're gonna have to remove that functionality. Um, okay, so in the beginning of this project, when it comes time for you guys to individually add files to the game, uh, you're going to work with the GitHub master. Okay. Um, eventually, you're going to get to a point to where you can add your own files to the game, but there's so many uh, situations that can go wrong and you can break GitHub that for now, we want you to work with someone who knows what they're doing until you feel really comfortable. Okay, so let's say Thor over here, who is a level designer, right? Concept doc. Okay, so you're not going to be putting anything in there. Um, let's say you. What's your name? John. John, who's a level designer, right? Okay, so nobody do this. Just watch me do it real quick, all right? Okay. It's super easy. So I'm Markel. I hope I said that right. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a new folder in here, and I'm going to call it Levels. Okay, and I'm going to make a new level. Right click, New Level, all right? And I'm going to call this New World is Fine. Then I'm going to go Save. Okay, so I have a new level here. Save Selected. I'll just throw a cube in here and a point light. There's my level. It's awesome. All right. Save. Save all. Whoops, not open asset. What the heck? How do I get out of that? Okay. File, save all. God dang it, not open asset again. Save all. All right, so I close Unreal. Now I look over here. I got some things that have turned red, okay? Red means uh, typically bad. GitHub master. Hey, you're going to need to set up what they call a git ignore. Make a okay. note. That's going to be the, on the top of your list. And the first things that you're going to add to the git ignore are going to be these two folders, intermediate and saved. Because every single time you work in Unreal, these files get touched, and somebody can accidentally push those to the server. Just annihilate everything? Yeah, you, you add those to the git ignore, and then that way they don't get touched. Awesome. But anyway, in content... As you can see, I have a new level folder here, and I have levels, but it's not green. Green is good. Green means that it's on your computer as well as on the server. So if I wanted to add this, I just right click on it, and I'm going to go tortoise git um, add. All right, cool patrol new world dot map. Awesome. And then I'm just going to go, I'm not going to do just commit, because when you send things to the server, you have to do a commit and then you have to do a push. Commit just sort of is like prepare to push and then push is like push. Okay, so I'm just gonna go git commit master. I'm gonna make a note in here. Ma um, what is it, Markiel? I'm just gonna, well it's me, so Kura added my new level, okay? Look down here, there's a checkbox and then I'm gonna do the little <laughs> drop down commit and push and I'm going to do it. The tortoise is pushing my files to the server. Okay. And then I'm just going to tap F5 on my computer. Now that's green. My files are on the server. Okay. So now everybody to get those files, I want you to go, go out to your Cool Patrol folder, um, the one that's green, which should be inside Cool Patrol. Right-click on that and do... Uh, get sync pull get sync pull the one that's green get sync pull
Yes. Right click on the one that says that's green. And do a git sync pull. Git sync. And there's a pull. And when, and when you're done pulling, you can close. Go into Cool Patrol, Cool Patrol content, and you should see the new world level under levels. Right click revert. What do you mean they're all red? Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, close out of Unreal. My bad. Um, in order to do anything in GitHub, or I'm sorry, yeah, GitHub, you need to be closed out of Unreal. So close out of Unreal, right click on the green Cool Patrol folder, do a revert, and then do a uh, git sync pull. Right click revert, short of git revert. Right click, short of git revert. So yeah, if you have red, just revert. And what reverting does is it pulls the files from the server that are correct over your local files. If it's green, we pull it over. Yeah, yeah. If you have a green Cool Patrol folder, right click on it, get sync, and pull. Just close out of that. Close out of that. If you have red files, right click, sort of get revert. If you have green Cool Patrol files, right click, get sync, pull. Yes. Help her, please. Oh, she just needs to check all those and hit OK. Uh, you, um, pull for the first green one? Yeah, it, when you do a revert, you'll see all the files. You need to check them all and hit OK. Okay. Then you pull for the first green one? Yes. <coughs> get sync, pull. And then close. close. When you're done, when you're done pulling, close out of the freaking dialog. And now go into Cool Patrol level content levels, and you should see uh, the level that I just added. Does everybody see the level I just added? New world. Yep. Awesome. Okay, so guys, we're going to go over this process like a million times before you actually do it because there's 101 ways that you can break the server. Does so that happen one year? Like it happens every semester. And it will probably still happen. And so don't sweat it. But anyway, the process is you go into Unreal, make new stuff, and then save. And then you're going to get with GitHub Master and he's going to help you push it to the server. Okay? And the first thing we're going to do when we come into class every single day is we're going to do a git sync pull. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull all the new content from the server. So another thing I want to mention is level content that we add um, from packs and stuff, we're not going to push to the server. We're going to try and push as little amount of things to the server as possible. Um, so say we get, um, what level content did we pull uh, when we did our level design demo? Dark Forest. And the industrial. Or okay, industrial cool. So Dark Forest, yeah, I remember we pulled that. So, yeah. um, for example, that's a great way. So if we want to add Dark Forest, which we've already pulled to our game, what we're going to do is we're going to add it locally to these machines, but we're going to do a git ignore yeah. to where it doesn't push all those files to the server. We don't want to be pushing gigs and gigs and gigs of files to the server. If we, we can just keep that local and everybody can download it locally here and then he's going to do a git ignore and all this may not make sense right now but it makes sense to you right um well i don't think you could do a git ignore on files that are stored locally you would just have to ev you whenever can do a git ignore on files stored locally you can yes i'll explain to you more in detail but basically right. files that we all have files that we're all going to need like level files we're just going to keep them locally everyone's going to download them we're not going to push those to the server. Okay. okay, just, I know it's like, what? But it, all this stuff is, this is the hardest part about game design, get, is, is working with source control. But eventually you'll get it. It's going to take time, but eventually you'll get it. All the easy stuff is out of the way. So for now, working with source control, you're just going to work with this guy, okay? And he's going to learn all the problems. He will become an expert. He will become an expert. And then eventually your leads will become experts. 
Okay, so you're going to have a lead level designer, you're going to have a lead programmer, you're going to have a lead, and then you'll go to them and they will become experts, and then eventually you will become experts. Yes? Should we have a, a channel in the Discord for GitHub? We already have it. Oh, yep. Yep. <coughs> I'm going to be setting up a bot to record changes to there. Which I think you just download the bot and give it a link, and it will do it for you. Yes, so. which is something you also need to put on your list. All right, we have run the game, but that's the game. And you're gonna, all the same stuff, if you're gonna work at home, you can do all this stuff at home. Um, okay, the version of Unreal is very important, especially if you're working at home. So let me launch Cool Patrol. Yes. Yes, that is very, I don't know which version it is. What, say that again. 4.22.3. I just I have to, we have to say it a million times because somebody always gets the newest version of Unreal and saves the project and uploads it to GitHub and then nobody else can open the project in here. Does that make sense? If it's a newer version, we can't open it here. Um, I did a demo on how to work with files. Okay, I'm gonna do this next time. I'm gonna assign a project lead. A project lead. I've already assigned your GitHub master. You know who it is for now and uh, roles may change I may assign a project lead and that project lead may work for a little while and realize that him or her doesn't like to do that um, so don't sweat it like if you start level design and you're like man I don't want to be a level designer I want to do visual effects don't sweat it like you, we can change um, go over game design document so did somebody update that at all all right, here's what we're going to do. Let's let's close for today. I'm going to go over the rest of this stuff next time. That was a lot. So Let's just let's just end for today. You got some stuff to do. I need to add you. Yeah. Well, I think the contributors <coughs> I don't know. 